Welcome back to Vlogmas. It's day 26. I took a little break on the 24th and the 25th because we hosted Christmas. So I needed to have all my energy focused on getting ready for that. We actually celebrate on the 24th Christmas Eve night. Today I want to share one of my gifts that I received, which is this glass dip pen with different colored inks. So I'm going to be swatching a few of those for you today so that you can see how they look. This is actually my very first time using a glass pen, so it took me a little while to get used to it. I'm going to continue swatching all the other inks eventually. Today I'm just showing you three different colors. I'll be doing the swatching in my India Ink Color Testing Journal, which is my own design and available on Amazon. I will put that link in the description. And it's just a nice little paperback that helps you to swatch out your inks, try them out with different pens, different nibs. You can record the color. You can do different scribbles and handwriting samples so that you know what your inks are like. This is just a generic set, no particular brand, but I was very pleasantly surprised at how nicely the pen worked and how luscious the inks are. It's so generic, there aren't even any colors on the ink. There are no names for the different colors. So I started with this purple color. And for the other two colors, I kind of made up some names just to add something to the name portion on this book. So you can enjoy watching me swatch these inks out. At the end, I also did a alphabet exemplar on a piece of watercolor paper. And one of the things... I also wanted to check was whether the inks would bleed or how much ghost in there would be. So on my first page, I didn't put a protective sheet, but I do recommend using a protective sheet. I'm using watercolor paper just to prevent bleeding through to the sheet that's following. The book is designed so that the testing sheets are all on the right side, the right side page. And then on the back of each page, there's just a dot grid page that you can use to include maybe notes about how the inks worked for you. So uh, let me know what you think. Let me know whether you're someone who loves inks and fountain pens and if you swatch your inks out like this and what you use for swatching your inks. See you tomorrow.